What is up guys? How did everybody's over the limit go? I tell you, it definitely was a grind. That is for sure. Um, just getting 4,000 hype was pretty difficult. I didn't spend a ton of money. I know to be able to get that 17,000 or 18,000, however it must, however much it was for the heroic, man, that definitely would have costed a pretty penny. But today we are going to check out over the limit rewards, the global rewards. Hopefully we get some clutch pulls. I know the people on my team have been just getting gothics and gothics and gothics. I'm not even sure anybody even has gotten a neon or a shattered. Also, this video will come out a couple days after over the limit rewards because I want to include the PVP rewards. This is going to be my very first time at tier 7. So uh, we're going to check out those rewards as well. So if you do enjoy the video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Let me know in the comments what you pulled for your global rewards. I'm definitely excited to see what I was able to put together, but uh, especially on the PvP too. It's going to be interesting having five momentum slots as well. But anyway, let's get into this. All right, so here we go. Like I said, most of the people on my team have gotten pretty much all gothics. Uh, we could get a shattered and a neon. Let's see what we get. I'm excited, man. I hope it is something amazing. Something, and we got two neons. Look at that. Um, I'm actually pretty surprised. I am pretty surprised that we are able to get that. First one, the Miz, dude. <laughs> it's a single. But I'll still take it. Uh, I don't think it's the best neon, but still. in the rock! Wow! Okay. So, I definitely... Rock is awesome. Both of these are singles for me, though. But uh, still getting two neons when everybody else on the team got gothics. No shattered, I don't believe, on the team. I didn't know what everybody else got. But two neons is amazing. Especially something as quality, I guess, you know, upper tier as the rock. Not exactly sure where the Miz is, but both of those are singles. Um, hopefully, I can start pulling some uh, neon dupes, though, from the TBG. I know the TBG, the Rusev, I was able to get uh, from the TBG. So, you know, the rock would be good. The rock would definitely be a great neon dupe. But, like I said, man, those are good. To me, those are good. Uh, no Shattered, even though we did have a chance for Shattered. No Shattered, but I will still take two Neons any day over uh, two Gothics that most people I know are getting. I'm sure there are people that have gotten Shattered and all that stuff, but uh, yeah. Two Neons, man, that is great. And uh, a Gothic one that goes for the team deck. Can't complain about those at all. Alright, so now it's time to claim those PvP rewards. How's everybody team Road to Glory go? Um, we actually did pretty good. We're getting really close to being able to get done with the Shattered. As you see, just over 300 points away from uh, being able to get that Shattered. So, I believe, I am, sh I am very, very confident that by the next one, I think that we're going to be able to get that done. But how did everybody else's Road to Glory go? This, now we're going to open up the PvP Tier 7. Again, I don't know if I necessarily expect anything the greatest, but uh, I've never gotten Tier 7, so I wanted to include it in the video. The OTL rewards from the other day were amazing. So hype about those. And now hopefully we can pull some good stuff in these. I'm not exactly sure how high or how many cards you get in this tier 7. But even 5 momentum slots jumped up my deck to uh, Neon Plus. So I, that's amazing. So I will take that. Alright, so I finished with just under 30,000. And I think probably obviously the main reason why I was able to get so many was because of the OTL. But even still, I mean, I only managed 4,000 hype for the OTL. So I still need to be able to spend more money in order to get those higher tiered. I'm not shattered yet, only neon. So um, that's obviously one of the reasons I can't get those other cards. But anyway... Uh, let's check these out. I don't know what order these go in, which packs are the best or anything like that. Hopefully, we can still pull something good. This is the Giant Platinum League pack. And uh, I don't expect anything. But we do get a SummerSlam 18. Uh, I don't have him. Killian. Bunch of Goliaths. Ember Moon. I do already have the females. So a uh, bunch of Goliaths and a SummerSlam 18, definitely not very good cards in those. Um, 
I don't know if that was the best one or if that was the worst one or which one. I think Giant is the best, maybe. Um, big Platinum, yeah, I would assume the Giant one was probably the best. So only a SummerSlam and all those Goliaths. And here we go, WrestleManias. Yeah, those were definitely the best. I guess I should have started from the bottom. But uh, all of those were WrestleManias. And then I'm assuming all these are going to be Titans. And they are all Titans. So out of all of those 30,000 or 30,000 points I accumulated in a PVP, all we can muster is a SummerSlam 18 and a bunch of Goliaths. That's that's not very good. But um, like I said, I got two Neons in the OTL and I know most people did not get Neons. So I can't complain about those. I can't expect every single pack to be amazing. But that's going to do it for the video. If you did enjoy, hit that thumbs up. Let me know how your OTL went, how far you got. Uh, I know there were some people on our team that did get the... God, I can't even imagine grinding that many. That, big props out to everybody that grinded out to get that heroic, man. That's that's definitely one heck of a grind. But uh, how did it go for you? What were your rewards? What were your... Is it possible to get good cards in these? Uh, I've never gotten good cards in PvP. I don't know if it's possible or if it's not, but... Uh, let me know in the comments. I will see y'all in the next video, the next stream, or whatever. Y'all take it easy. I am out. Peace.